thousands of years ago, God asked Job, Have you entered the treasury of snow? Now, no man living at that time could have known fully about the treasures of the snow. But with the advent of the microscope, these elaborate crystals can now be wholly appreciated. These are actual snow crystals that have reached Earth intact. Snow crystals form in the clouds where water vapor condenses and crystallizes into ice. As the crystals grow, these remarkable patterns emerge. Complex, symmetrical, and beautiful. They are breathtaking to behold. In contrast, man-made snow has none of the elaborate structure found in snow crystals. Snow crystals are made out of amazing water molecules. Each oxygen atom has a little bit of negative charge and it holds on to two hydrogen atoms that have a little positive charge and it holds them 104 and a half degrees apart. When you reach the freezing point, suddenly they reach a point where the electrical attraction of plus and minus charges can pull them together. That's the energy source. And then that shape God gave the water molecules, they line up to form those beautiful uh, crystals, each one unique, each one a reflection of God's creativity. Every day, trillions of God's transparent treasures fall to earth for our discovery and joy. And yet, no two are exactly alike. I believe that God built this hexagonal shape into the individual water molecule because of the way they have to fit together they form this hexagonal shape as they add on molecules and grow outward. And each individual ice crystal is made up of literally millions of water molecules. And although they fit together in a particular way, as they grow outward, the ice crystals falling down through the cloud at different temperatures, they begin to get different shapes. So every ice crystal is going to be slightly different than every other one. Each crystal is built on a hexagonal pattern and exhibits a marvelous symmetry of design. Truly, there is a treasury of snow, just as God declared 4,000 years ago. There's two things about ice crystals that just really excite me. One is literally the beauty. You look at them and you see all these patterns with these flat faces and the, and the, the structure that's there. There's over a hundred different basic types of ice crystals. It's just the beauty of it. And that tells me something about God. It tells me that God loves beauty. And he loves me because he provided this beauty to look at. So it resonates with me. The other is the way in which the ice crystals are ordered, and the way in which the individual molecules fit together. That fits a particular consistent pattern time and time again, tells me that God has designed it. There is also a spiritual application. As each snow crystal is distinctly patterned, so each human, each soul is unique and of special concern to our Lord. As God's creative hand forms ice crystals with loving care, so too he intends to form each person to reflect his glory. Compared to the rest of creation, snow crystals are simple, yet the great architect's attention, even to the countless snow crystals he forms each day, is an unmistakable mark of his care. God has built into not only ice crystals, all kinds of other molecules, all kinds of systems, relationships and processes that we don't even begin to fathom yet today. That's one of the reasons I'm a scientist. I love trying to find out how things function, how they operate, and apply mathematical equations to them because I feel like I'm touching the face of God, if you wish.